the thing was that a lot of the riders outside of Belmont that I had been riding with, um, and, and, and some that I met at Belmont, but I, a culmination of songs that I had written with people outside and inside, um, I, I, I uh, had demoed some of those songs up, and uh, I had about, really only about seven songs demoed, and those were what I, t and I, well, and I, and I, I did a session right before um, Christmas that year before I was interning, because my plan was I was going to try to see if I could get a publishing deal or at least try to help myself, you know, at least further with some publishers that I had already been, that I had already met out and maybe had a meeting with or just kind of, they, they knew, uh, you know, they had met me before. And uh, I, I hadn't, the new year came around and I, and I didn't even get my songs mixed until like the first week of January. And uh, Seagal was nice enough to ask me to, you know, if they, if they wanted to listen. And, um, you know, I guess it was just like taking that initiative to, um, to demo some songs and make them sound kind of like what the market was, was wanting, or at least what I thought the market would be wanting. And, um, and I guess I just got really lucky that they, that they wanted, <laughs> that they wanted to hear them. But I, I mean, I had written a lot of songs while I was at Belmont and, um, took some of my favorites that I thought would possibly help me get a publishing deal and did a, did a little some little demos on them and and they ended up getting a publishing deal which is pretty crazy but well I had I had always grown up uh, I started playing guitar when I was eight and singing a little bit after that and uh, it was funny because like in my guitar lessons my guitar teacher was always like oh man like theory theory and all this stuff and I was like I don't really care. I want to learn songs. Like I love songs. Like I, I, I didn't know I loved songs, but I was like, I just want to learn songs. So every week I just come in and learn songs, and then when I got good enough to play and sing them, I just all I did was learn songs and uh, start playing out. And like every time I had a show, I'd want to play all different songs. So I, I, I just was constantly learning new songs and listening to the radio and seeing what was cool and what I dug, or I guess when the internet was whenever I was old enough to use the internet and stuff. Digging on, I had Rhapsody back in the day, which is funny, um, and I was using that. And uh, and whenever I got into high school, I, I or even before then, I dabbled in writing songs, and they, you know, they were terrible. And in high school, I started writing a little bit more, and um, I actually started going to some of the uh, NSAI chapter meetings that were in New Orleans, I'm from Baton Rouge, so. Drive, my mom would drive me down to New Orleans so I could meet with uh, all the guys down there, which which was cool. And uh, went to spring training and stuff. I did a bunch of NSAI stuff, which was which is great. Well, about the time I was 16, and um, I was still trying to figure out whether I wanted to move here or not. Whether I thought I was going to be good enough to possibly have a career. I don't, I, you know. So it's still up in the air, but <laughs> but uh, but uh, you know it, it was it, it was really cool to see what a lot of the, the writers here did and get to hear them talk um, before I moved up here and uh, that was probably my sophomore junior year of high school and then uh, my senior year decided that I was gonna for sure come up here and uh, just dive in to writing and trying to play out. I'd been playing with bands all through middle school and high school and uh and yeah so um as soon as I got here freshman year um 2010 fall I uh before I even got here I met like a couple guys that started like a, a Facebook page for um people who were going to be starting at Belmont and wanted to play together and uh, the guy that still plays drums with me uh I met him on that Facebook page and within the first week of Belmont we started playing together and uh, like been like in that week, had a bunch of other guys come and hang out and play, and we would just we would just jam. Um, and uh, and uh, so I found a couple guys that I dug playing with, and they I guess dug playing with me, and we you know we just started trying to get, build gigs. We you know we were, would go play at some of the places I had played at back home occasionally, and try to make those gigs a little better. And I uh, looked on Craigslist, and we we you know we. We were playing at we got this gig playing at Roosters whenever that was still open across from Twelfth and Porter, and uh, we found like a thing at like a bar in Kentucky, and we would just go play in, in any way we could. We'd just 
try to get out there. Um, in that first first two or three years, we played about fifty to eighty shows a year, which was which was awesome. Doing that weekend, mo- mostly during the summer, but also on weekend, we'd make short weekend trips. You know, in about three four hours from here, and uh, those were a lot of fun. I mean, we had a great time, and uh, there's five of us in that in that band, which is fun. And uh, but but while I was doing that, I, I met um, a lot of great people at Belmont, which which was awesome, and a lot of the the faculty and staff were great. But um, I would, um, especially through Doak and, and his Third Sundays and everything, uh, met a lot of cool writers that even to this day still hang out with and um, and write with. And um, but I think one of the one of the most important things for for my growth was. Um, Meeting other writers who, who technically weren't in in the bubble at the you know at school, and it, it was it was awesome to um, meet some older some older guys who might uh, uh, most I mean didn't have publishing deals or anything they were just more experienced people in life, and they had just I mean stuff to learn I mean I you know it was, it was great um, and I found a couple guys that I, that I really love writing with, and as soon as I could intern. I think it was that first semester. Uh, me and my me and my buddy tried to intern at Average Joe's Entertainment, which was which was really awesome because um, they're not like they're not a huge label, but they have a lot of cool acts and they they do a lot of um, like grassroots acts that it, it's cool, especially for being a young artist. You get to see I, I got to see what like other people who were trying to just build a following in more of a grassroots way instead of throwing a ton of money at it, which was awesome to see that. But what was really cool was they had um, a label, they had management, they had publishing, they had all kinds of things in the same roof, which was really cool, which I, uh, being being a writer, I, I already knew that I loved, wanted to at least learn about publishing, which was cool. Um, but then it was... I. I I was doing that a lot. I was doing that a lot, um, a lot of work for them, which was which was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. Um, but then I didn't really intern again for the next the next year. But before going into my last semester, I was like, I really want to intern at a publishing company. And um, I I had met a guy who who worked at, at Universal at the time, and uh, he now works at um, Seagull, the place that I, that I signed at. And uh, I asked him if 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 Universal had any openings or if he knew any companies that had internship opportunities and he said well I could he could get me at Universal or he had just switched to working at, at Seagale and um, and, I, and I said well I'd love to be where you're at because I knew he was a, a great guy and I, and I was was looking forward to the opportunity to get an intern with, with uh, did under, he, under did, him. Did he happen to be your neighbor in, in Nashville? He also, well he also was my neighbor too which was which was really yeah, cool. How did you meet him? Well I, I I had met him because he was hanging out in the front yard and like I just walked down and, and we we were talking and we had some neighborhood watch things that we had, we had met each other at and uh, he had also gone to Belmont so um, which was cool so we got to talk about that and uh, but yeah he was my neighbor so it was funny but uh, but uh, but yeah so he uh, he had he was. Said it was okay if I could come and turn it at Seagale, which was awesome. And uh, shortly after I started interviewing, um, um, Mike, who works at Seagale, was was really nice and um, was just like, if you have any music, I, you know, I'd love to, you know, just check it out. And which was cool because most places don't don't really, you know, don't do that. And um, it was really cool. And uh, and a few weeks in the internship. I gave him a CD and he and he checked it out and uh, a week later um, they offered me a deal which is pretty pretty crazy and uh, and that was that was in February of this year so it's you know it's it's almost been been a year but uh but it's been but it's been a, a, a great time because the more time you get to spend around these people the the more opportunities you're gonna you're gonna get to learn. Um, so I, I set it up to where I was only taking classes at night and online to where I could, well, one, write during the day and then and then intern during the day. So I was writing in the mornings um, and then possibly interning in the afternoon or the morning on depending on the day of the week and going to class at night and then, you know, if I had a writer's round or something, go play that afterwards and then go to bed and do it all over again. But um, I think the, the coolest thing, the really the best thing is just to 
be uh, as good of a hang as possible and just be around these people. Like if, you know, our company had um, a lot of like just events, like they have a dart tournament and, um, and other just, hey, we're going to hang out and listen to somebody play. If you want to come, come. And like, I was like, I always, that, I mean, that's all I want to do is like hang out with them, listen to great music and just like get to know these people better. And, um, and I think that that, that helped a lot because they, you know, I got to, I spent, you know, even though I'd only been there a couple of weeks before I heard my stuff, I had, I had spent a lot of time hanging out with them already, um, which was, which was really fun. And just, just, just being there and, and it, it is a huge part of it. So I, I mean, anytime there's an opportunity to, especially outside of a work setting, get to hang out with the people that you're intern that interning for. It's huge because during the day you might they you know they might be they'll probably be in their office a lot doing a lot of different stuff and there there'll be you know a couple times during a week where you have a little bit extended time where you get to hang actually hang out with them most of the time interning you're you know either especially at a clothing company printing CDs or 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 if you have a car and would like to drive it um, drop a CDs off. Or going, you know, mailing or picking up mail or just, just things that that they need an extra hand with that they just might be too busy to do and could just take a little bit of stress out of their day for you to help them out, and 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 they and they really appreciate that even if even if they don't make it seem like at the time, um, they they really do and and it's I know that some companies don't have interns anymore but I know that the ones that do really appreciate their interns.